Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use HubSpot for email marketing and how to create an email campaign using HubSpot. HubSpot is one of the most popular CRMs around and what makes it so popular otherwise from the many features is that you can get started for free as you can see right here. So this is the perfect platform to create an email list or to manage your current customer list or email list better yet. All you have to do is go onto hubspot.com and then tap on get started and you can sign up quite easily with your email address and create a password. Once you have done that you will be redirected to this dashboard and from here you can see the left and menu option which is the sales hub and you can also see the marketing hub right here. But what we will be fo focusing on is marketing at the top right here and we'll be doing email campaigns. And you can also see that you can create landing pages to build your email list. We'll be looking at that in the near future. And also you can see sales here so you can manage your sales as you can see right here, your deals, forecasts and also tasks. And by the way, any one of these that you see with the arrow right here, that means that you would have to be on the paid plan on HubSpot to have access to it. But you can see the numerous features that HubSpot have. You have the feedback surveys, knowledge base, and also customer portal. And you have the automation right here. And you can also view reports, analytics, and dashboard, and your data management right here data management integrations as you can integrate numerous platforms with HubSpot. But if we were to go into sales, better yet into marketing and select landing pages, let's say we want to build a landing page to build up or, or to collect some emails, you can do that quite easily. All you'll have to do is go on marketing from the top left hand corner, then you'll select landing page, then you'll tap on get started. After you have done that, you could add the page name. So let's say, for example, I name this page test, then tap on create page. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page from which you'll be able to search for numerous templates and select one of your liking. So you can scroll down and you can select any one of these templates. For this example, I'll select this one right here. All you have to do to select the template is simply tap on it. So you can select the template, tap on select. Then you'll be redirected to this dashboard on which you'll be able to edit your email template as you can see right here. And from the left hand menu option, if you would like to add text or a button, you can select any one of these options. So let's say, for example, you are giving away a free ebook. You could add the ebook by simply tapping on the ebook section, as you can see right here. And you could replace it with your image. And then you can scroll down and you could add the text, the alt text, if you want. And you can also adjust the size, as you can see right here. And you can also add the image loading and you could add the link. So if someone taps on that link, they'll be able to download the ebook. Another thing that you can also do when it comes on to HubSpot, you can go over to the right hand corner and you'll be able to edit any one of the text sections. So let's say, for example, you want to change the font right here. You can do that from the menu option at the top. You could tap on font. Then you could select the font that you would like to use. As you can see right there, you can also change the size of the font. And once it is to your liking, all you have to do now is go over to the top and you could press preview if you would like to see it. But let me change this back real quick. Change back the font style. So let's say the impact and change the size. increase the size better yet as you can see right there and also you can scroll down and if you would like to add a form selected you can do that right there 
and if there's anything more you like to add you can see it from the left hand menu option you can add them and you can also go on to themes if you like to change the themes and once it is to your liking you'll tap on preview at the top right hand corner to preview it and you can see it right here then you'll be able to copy the link and share it from the top right hand corner right there if you would like to share your new landing page link then tap on save in the left and top left hand corner to save it once you have done that you'll be able to share your landing page now let's find out how to create an email campaign now to do this all you have to do is select marketing at the top then we are going to select email after selecting email you'll be redirected to this page and from here you will see the option import your contacts or you can so we are going to tap on import contacts after tapping on import contacts you'll be redirected to this page and from here you can drag and drop the file if you have a file with your contacts right here but I do not have a file at the moment but I was just showing you for example so let's go back and let me select marketing again and select email after selecting marketing and email you'll select create your first email right here you could tap on create email and from here you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from let's close out of this you can see numerous templates that you can choose from as you can see right here so for example if you want to sell a welcome email you could do that if you want to advertise a newsletter you can do that for this example i'll select the welcome email right here so all you have to do is tap on it to select the template that you'd like to use after you have tapped on it you'll be redirected to this dashboard just give it a few seconds to load up as it's preparing the template you could change the company logo so you could tap on this section right here and from here you could remove the current logo and replace it with one of your own let me replace it with one real quick all you have to do is tap on it and you can see right here search images then you are going to scroll down you can also design one with canva but let me tap on add image then select upload files and i'm going to choose something random let me see let me choose this right here then tap on open you can see it right here recent image then i'll tap on the image and you can see it is loading the new logo after it has loaded the logo you'll be able to save it but I don't like this image as a logo but I'll work with it after you're finished you can change the width and height if you want so you could minimize that if you want then you can also add a link to the logo if you want and once you're finished you'll tap on done and you can scroll down and you can continue editing each section so for example if you would like to change the text which more than likely you want to all you have to do is tap on the text section that you'd like to change and you can add any information that you want and you can change any information that you want you can also add a button if you want for example if i wanted to add a button all i had to do was simply tap on the section right here as you can see and you can see button let me do it real quick then go over to the left hand menu option and from here you will see more or you will see button and i'll simply tap on button all you have to do is drag the button to where you want it so you drag the button to where you want it and you'll see right here edit this button so from here i'll be able to paste the url that i would like someone to tap on and redirect them you can also edit the text right here so you could press for example click here i could write in click here on the button as you can see right there and then you'll tap on done 
and that's it and again you can also add your social media if you want there are numerous editing options you can use and once you're finished all you have to do is tap on review and send as you can see right here and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching